Hey, this is Jeff of SimSamurai.net. Um, basically, in previous videos, I've talked about how to cut out your exterior skin panels for any of my cockpit designs. And what you're looking at here is some of the uh, front panels that have been cut out for actually the HX1. And what I want to review now is how to pre drill holes for attaching the screws that are going to hold your exterior skin panels to your framework. Um, basically, as you can see here, I've got clamps because I have mirrored two pieces together for the right and left, and they are, you know, even on all four corners, or edges, and are ready to be drilled now. And I do all this before I paint because you want to get all your dust and debris and all that stuff out of the way. Um, at least that's how I like to do it. You could paint these first as full sheets, then come back, cut them, drill them, etc., then maybe do touch-up paint as necessary. But basically how I do it is I trace all my lines out. You know, lay the frames down on the wall. As you can see, you got to trace out the insides of the wall frame so that you know where your wall frame members are going to actually sit on the frame. Then I mirror two sheets together, making sure um, that they're mirrored properly. You got to th think three dimensionally. So you know, imagine how the wall frames are supposed to go. Um, you know, position the sheets accordingly. Line them up. Use clamps. Use your floor cutting platform. Cut out the sheets, and now we've arrived to the step of pre-drilling holes. And so what you want to do is take your measurement and measure across, you know, from any distance. Um, and actually, but first, before I do that, I draw a line down the center. So you can see these darker lines are where my 2 by 4 wall frame members are actually going to sit. And then I draw a center line uh, down that, so that's 3 quarter inches in from each side. And actually from, from here on the outer side, if you remember in an earlier video, I said to cut this an eighth inch to 3 sixteenths inch thicker because you actually want your uh, sidewall frames to penetrate up and over the top and the back frame. So meaning your wall frames here, it's going to come up and, and actually come over what's going to be your top skin. So these distances here are actually uh, an inch and five eighths instead of an inch and a half. These interior frames and the back frames are, are an inch and a half. That's what these uh, lines here are. Um, so your three quarter inches here on each side, three quarter and three quarter. And then on this, you want to measure over from the inside three quarter. Uh, so that you know you'll hit the exact center of your 2x4. So I've basically done that now, just making little V-style hash marks all the way around the perimeter to mark out where the center lines are. And then I like to use a metal ruler. You can pick these up in an art supply store, um, or maybe even a hobby store, or something like that. Um, I like using metal rulers because uh, they're easier to work with sometimes than a standard tape measure, and you can get more accurate dimensions and measurements with a metal tape measure, or a metal roller, excuse me. Um, so basically, as you can see, I've now drawn lines through the dead center of each of where my 2x4s are going to go. But now you need to know or determine where you're going to drill your screw holes. And how you do that is you want to take the full measurement across and take note of however long that is. And because we know these are 2x4s, you're going to come out at a distance. I know I'm going to come out a distance from the inside of this one, 3 quarters of an inch. So I'm going to line that up and I'm going to mark that. Right now, just make a little hash mark across there. Same thing over here. I know that that's an inch and a half from the back, so I'm going to make my hash mark right there. And then I know what the total measurement is, and so I need to reduce that by whatever that outside dimension is and, and that other outside dimension is. Uh, you just have to consult your blueprints. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit different for each model. So you subtract that amount, um, you know, three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch. You're left over with whatever dimension you're left over with. And then you need to divide that dimension by the amount of spaces you want to use. And in this case, I knew from a previous video that I discussed this, I wanted to use four spaces because I wanted to have one screw, two screws, three screws, four screws. So actually, let's see, one there, one there, four screws, five six total if you count the two on the end. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five spaces. I'm going to divide this by five. And I come up with uh, around uh, about six and three quarter inches. And you can round off if you measure and mark those from the outside in, then your center uh, distance to distance would be a little smaller. Um, so basically, once you know what that space distance is, that's the space between your screws. And so I'll now measure that off here. And we'll 
then come same distance starting from the other end at that ha first hash mark we made. And so on. Another mark there. Come back down this one, another mark there. And then basically those same two should be almost the same, maybe a little less uh, or a little closer together, but all the outside ones are exactly equal. Um, basically my builder manual talks about this in detail. This is one of the finer points of carpentry of, of how to you know, be really symmetrical, how to get all your screws spaced nice and properly so that each spacing distance between each screw is exactly the same. Um, I would recommend practicing on a piece of uh, scrap wood first if this is something that you've never done before. Um, it's actually really easy to do once you kind of get into the habit of it and we'll just make sure that all your screws are nice and evenly spaced. And again, once you do this for this, obviously you know these two links are going to be the same so you can use the same measurement for this cross member. So same thing, if you ever have one uh, member that's the same length, you know, you can use that same distance or space measurement for the other member. And then, you know, just continue around the whole sheet where your framework is and do the same thing. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and then once you're done, I'm using a 3 32nd inch drill bit. I'm going to set that to a depth of 5 8 inch, maybe, maybe even a little less, about a half, right there, and now I'm ready to drill. And before you drill, you just want to make sure that your cutting platform stuff is up underneath where you're going to drill through. And this is so that, you know, you, if you penetrated through without using this, you can make a lot of splinters and, and rough uh, penetration uh, on the uh, back side of your material. Whereas if you have something solid underneath, it'll help it make a much nicer, cleaner hole when the drill comes out the back side of your material. So before you drill, just you can see, as I have here, place your cutting platform underneath where you're going to be drilling and then just move them around as necessary as you drill. Um, so I'll go ahead and drill these in this line right now, just as an example to show you. Make sure your drill is correctly centered on two axes. You want to look at it straight up from the top like this. That looks good. And there's a hole and that's it. And then we would just continue to do that for the rest of them. And then of course mark out the rest and drill the rest. And so that's it for drilling your holes for any of the Sim Samurai cockpit skin panels. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in more videos. Bye.